Hey there, Michael here from Yeshua Pro Solutions and I'm so excited to announce to you our brand new facial recognition feature on our Yeshua Timekeeper desktop. Today, I will show you how to set things up and how to use it. Let's jump right in. Okay, so now I'm in my Yeshua Timekeeper desktop. Please make sure you log into your Yeshua Timekeeper desktop before we proceed. As you will see here in the homepage, there's now a use face recognition on time in or out. That means the facial recognition feature is readily available on Yeshua Timekeeper desktop. In order for us to start using this feature, we first need to set up our faces. Let's go to settings, go to facial recognition, and choose add face data. Here in add face data, choose the employee you want to register a face for. In this case, I will choose Richardson by Ron and take a photo. Facial recognition will use this photo as reference when doing your time in or time out. So now if I go back to home, we can now enable use facial recognition on time in or out. Let's go ahead and click this checkbox. And let's see here. It says here that vice minimum requirements for using facial recognition. In order to use facial recognition on your desktop, you need to make sure you have at least 8 gigabytes of RAM using Core Intel i5 processor and with GPU. With this, I can click continue and enter my admin password. There we go. Now facial recognition is activated on my Yeshua Timekeeper desktop. So now what I can do is choose to either time in or time out and it'll automatically recognize my face. Let's choose time in. And as you can see, it has automatically recognized my face as Rich's son, Byron. Great. Okay, now that you've seen how facial recognition works, let's take a look at the settings for facial recognition. Let's go back to settings, go to facial recognition, and choose settings. Here you will see two parts. First is the model and the configuration. In the model section, you'll see here two model options. First, it's a tiny face detector, which is a light version facial recognition model, but it's not as accurate as compared to the previous model, which is the SSD MobileNet V1. This model is very accurate, but does consume so much computer memory. So make sure to choose which model is most appropriate for your device. On the configuration section, you will see here two options. The first option is to enable real-time verification. What this does is that it places a bounding box on your face when you're time in or out. The second option is to capture multiple faces at one time. This is very useful when capturing multiple people at the same camera. I'll demonstrate that now. So first, let's enable both options. Enable real-time verification and capture multiple faces at one time. And click Save. Let's enter my admin password. There we go. And now here, you will see that there's now a bounding box model on my face. In order to capture multiple faces, we need to register multiple faces in our Yeshua Timekeeper desktop. Let's register another face. Let's go and click Add Face Data. Choose the employee. And click Take Photo. Now that there are multiple faces in our Yeshua Timekeeper desktop, it can now detect multiple faces when doing time in or out. And this is what it looks like with multiple faces. As you can see, there are now bounding boxes on each of our faces. Now, if I click time in, the facial recognition will automatically recognize us both. And that's our facial recognition feature. We know a lot of you have been asking about this feature, and so we're so excited we can finally ship it out to you. Please take note that this feature is still in beta, and so you might encounter some bugs along the way. If you should ever find them, please email it to us at marketing at alba.works or comment them in the comment section down below. Your feedback will help us make this feature even better. Thanks so much for watching this video, and we can't wait to see you in the next one. God bless.